only word that could describe how Joe's dad looked. He was standing outside Bumfresh Towers in his dressing gown. Mr Spud addressed the camera, his eyes red from crying. I've lost everything, he said slowly, his whole face shattered with emotion. Everything. But all I want is my son back, my beautiful boy. Then the tears welled up in Mr Spud and he had to catch his breath. Joe looked over at Bob and his mum. They stood in the kitchen, staring at the screen. What does he mean? He's lost everything. It was just on the news, she replied. Everyone is suing your dad. Bum Fresh has made everyone's bottoms go purple. What? replied Joe. He turned back to the TV. If you are watching out there, son, come home. Please, I beg you. I need you. I miss you so much. Joe reached out and touched the screen. He could feel tears welling in the corners of his eyes. A little hiss of static danced on his fingertips. You better go to him, said Bob. Yeah, said Joe, too shocked to move. If you and your dad need anywhere to stay, you are both welcome here, said Bob's mum. Yeah, of course, chimed in Bob. Thanks so much. I'll tell him, said Joe. Look, I've got to go. Yeah, said Bob. He opened his arms and gave Joe a hug. Joe couldn't remember the last time anyone had hugged him. It was one thing money couldn't buy. Bob was a brilliant hugger, too. He was all squishy. I'll see you later, I suppose, said Joe. I'll make a shepherd's pie, said Bob's mum with a smile. My dad loves shepherd's pie, replied Joe. I remember, said Bob's mum. Me and your dad were at school together. Really? asked Joe. Yes, he had a bit more hair and a bit less money back then, she joked. Joe allowed himself a little laugh. Thank you so much. The lift was out of order, so Joe raced down the stairs, bouncing off the walls as he did so. He ran out into the car park where Raj was waiting. Bum fresh towers, Raj. Step on it. Raj pedalled hard and the trike trundled off down the street. They passed a rival newsagent shop and Joe clocked the headlines on the papers in the, on the racks outside. Dad was on every front page. Bum fresh scandal, said the Times. Billionaire Spud facing ruin, ran the telegraph. Bum fresh is harmful to bottoms, explained the Express. Is your bottom purple? inquired the Guardian. Bum fresh purple bottom nightmare, screamed the Mirror. Queen has baboons bum, claimed the Mail. Bum horror, yelled the Daily Star. Posh Spice changes hairstyle, announced the Sun. Well, nearly every front page. You were right, Raj, said Joe as they sped up the high street. About what in particular, replied the newsagent as he mopped the sweat from his brow. About Bumfresh, it has made everyone's bottom go purple. I told you so. Did you inspect yours? So much had happened since Joe had left Raj's shop yesterday afternoon. He'd completely forgotten. No. Well, prompted the newsagent. Pull over. What? I said, pull over. Raj swerved the Raj a little onto the verge. Joe leapt off, looked over his shoulder and pulled down the back of his trousers a little. Well, asked Raj. Joe looked down. Two great purple swollen cheeks stared back at him. It's purple. Let's have another look at Raj's graph. If Joe's bottom was added to it, it would look like this. In short, Joe's bum was very, 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 Joe pulled up his trousers and jumped back on the Rajaville. Let's go! As they approached Bumfresh Towers, Joe saw that there were hundreds of journalists and camera crews waiting outside the gates of his house. As they approached, all the cameras turned to them and hundreds of flashes went off. They were blocking their entrance and Raj had no choice but to stop the trike. You're live on Sky News. How do you feel now your father faces financial ruin? Joe was too shocked to reply, but still men in raincoats continued to shout questions at him. BBC News, is there going to be a compensation package for the millions of people around the world whose bums have gone purple? CNN, do you think your father will face criminal charges? 
Raj cleared his throat. If I may make a short statement, gentlemen. All the cameras turned to the newsagent and there was a hushed silence for a moment. At Raj's shop in Bolsover Street, I'm doing a very special offer on Frazzles. Buy ten packets, get one free, for a limited time only. The journalists all sighed loudly and muttered their annoyance. Ding, ding! Raj rang the bell on his trike and the sea of reporters parted to let him and Joe through. Thank you so much, chirped Raj with a smile. And I have some out-of-date lion bars at half price, only slightly mouldy.